Vols are back on the practice field today with one game and one victory under their belts. However, they are missing a key member on the O-line and senior Jacob Gillum, who suffered a season-ending knee injury. He'll be out for the year. Uh, he tore his ACL, so it's, uh, it's very, very unfortunate. You know, I feel for him. I feel for his family. Here's a young man that I love him to death. Uh, walk on who earned a scholarship. He earned it. And uh, it's very, very uh, unfortunate, but that's football. Uh, next guy in, it'll be an opportunity uh, for Brett Kendrick. It'll be an op opportunity for Dontavious Blair, uh, Coleman Thomas. So it'll be a great opportunity. We've been preparing these guys, but I just feel for, for Jacob just because, you know, He's earned the respect of his peers, and he's worked so hard to put himself in position to be our starting left tackle. Competition breeds success, according to O-line coach Don Mahoney. Dontavious and Brett Kendrick just, you know, working extremely hard today, and uh, Kyler Kerbison and, and Coleman Thomas uh, as well. Just the competition, you know, each day from that position, both right side and left side. You know, it's it's healthy and it's good, and the fact that um, you know the guys are just working at it, and uh, you know we're pushing and demanding, and uh, you know they know that uh, you know we haven't accomplished the thing yet. So uh, it's good that they're competing at the level they're at, and I think it's helping us each and every day. Matt Crowder says there is a golden opportunity at a premier position at the University of Tennessee. They have a great opportunity. Um, you know, obviously playing left tackle in the SEC school, especially like the University of Tennessee, it's a, it's a great opportunity that everybody dreams for, but it's obviously a big role also. So, um, you know, I, I have been talking to them a little bit just to make sure that whoever does end up winning the spot, you know, they have to be confident in their abilities and, um, you know, they're here for a reason. So, um, you know, whenever they get in there, they will, they will be able to do it. They just have to have the right mindset. Team 118 is using this sudden change in personnel to stand together and to move forward as they prepare for Arkansas State this Saturday at 12 o'clock. For Vol Report, I'm Sarah Mitchell.